hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel once again and guys in this video today we are going to learn about a very important uh, concept of, of open text right facts so in this video we are going to learn about you know what are the system requirement what should be infrastructure and what are the requirement to make a successful implementation of open text right facts server because everything has certain requirements if you don't follow those requirements that setup will not work that will not func function properly you may face lots of connectivity problems so you have to take care of each and everything okay before making a successful configuration or setup installation whatever you want to say to make a smooth communication uh, transmission that is what i'm going to discuss in this video i hope you would uh, you will you will definitely get something from here so here would show you like you know uh, I, have, I have taken only four here like server operating system requirement what what kind of server operating system it needs and uh, hardware requirement server hardware requirement physical server additional server requirements and virtual environment apart from this we will uh, learn lots of things I have taken only four here as a, as a headline okay so let me begin with the very first one which is server operating systems so if you want to deploy right fact server i'm talking about here let me take a highlight highlighter uh this one this one i should take here from here highlighter okay so if i want to deploy right facts 21.2 okay so uh so <coughs> sorry this version supports the following microsoft windows server or uh, windows operating server basically okay so if you see here it it supports server 2016 as well as server 2019 if we talking about server operating system first one is done okay so this is the basic requirement so you can install on <coughs> server 2016 as well as server 2019 now next one is right facts application server so if we talk about here right, uh, hardware hardware requirements so what are the basic requirement minimum requirement here so guys it can be installed or it can run on uh, like you know two cpu or virtual core required this is a minimum or uh, four cpu or virtual cores recommended so this is a basic requirement okay recommended you should have this much of requirement in, inside your hardware hardware okay and minimum 4 GB required but recommended you should use 8 GB RAM and hard disk like uh, <coughs> you can have minimum 10 GB okay free space and 1.2 GB for installed program and a, a 50 GB minimum dedicated application disk for right facts is recommended so here very simple at least you should have one terabyte of uh, hard disk I would say but minimum minimum requirement is here at least 10 GB and that application installation will consume 1.2 GB okay apart from this like hard disk minimum requirements do not include a space for a storage of document images so uh, here this hard disk requirement is different and for a storage you should have different uh, you know more capacity if you want to store that definitely it will be a storage because everything will be stored on your server to to calculate needed this space open text recommended using this is for i'm talking about you know that facts will be stored in different kind of media or uh, in, in different of format for example it is installing in for in in the form of uh page okay or uh, i should say pdf page or image whatever it is so minimum the space it will consume is 35 kb 35 kb will be consumed by one fax to be stored on your storage so according to that we should have a storage capacity 1 tb 2 tb 3 tb or uh, as much as we can it is depend on the business requirement once again so this is a basic installation requirement here minimum 10 gb free space we should have or uh, 1.2 gb for program this is hardware requirement apart from this additional requirements for physical server so guys here we will use couple of you know cards additional cards here so for that also we should have uh, available slots okay it should support that that 
like you know that server should be supportable so here i will show you a few things like uh, if we are using raid okay so we should have 146 gb two hard disks for better performance we can have 146 into three hard disks raid 5 if we are using raid 5 raid 5 for redundancy or greater we can have more than this also that is what i was talking about in previous slide and if ordering new fax board if we are using fax board then we should have uh, you will need an appropriate available slot for the card so it is depend additional card basically we need to install to make slot to install new fax boards so the, these are the parameters here i have mentioned you can you can go through it i'm not uh, going through and reading anything here i'm just telling you few things basic things so i'm going next one additional server requirement so guys here uh, apart from this operating system and physical hardware requirement we should have some other thing like we should have right fax port uh, post script print, uh, printer driver windows powershell 2.0 microsoft sql server microsoft messaging queue okay server primary interoperability as, uh, assembly 2005 microsoft visual c++ runtime components and microsoft internet information service iis 10 microsoft dotnet 4.7.2 uh, framework microsoft data access components Microsoft Windows Installer 3.1, SAP, and Windows Account to run, RightFact Services, and Administrator Group, and must have the right to log on to service, log on as service on the local computer, or install during uh, RightFact setup. So these are the additional server requirement. Okay, so apart from this, uh, it can be installed if you are using if you are using virtualization environment then. Uh, RightFax 20 supports the following virtualization environment. Uh, it can be installed on AWS, Amazon Web Service, Microsoft Azure, or Microsoft Hyper-V, VMware 3.1 or later version, VMware VSphere 4.0 or later, uh, even Citrix Zen Server 6.2 or later. We can install uh, RightFax 20. Apart from this next one, like it should, uh, you know, it required clustering also. So Windows Server failover clustering services. For this, we can use Windows Server 2016. So these are the requirement to make a successful uh, uh, infra or configuration of right facts. For clustering, we can use uh, Windows Server 2016. For uh, fax transmission. Okay, guys, again, I'm talking about, uh, you know, uh, right fax 20 here. So supports only the following technology for transmitting and receiving faxes. So if it, we are talking about uh, 20, it will support the, these are the following uh, technologies for transmission, sending and receiving. Transmission is what? Sending and receiving faxes or signals or whatever it is, but it will be like transmitting and receiving something. And other board type of third third party board or SR120 emulation technology are not supported here. This kind of board uh, I was I was I have mentioned here. Here you can read a couple of things. So guys, dialogic embedded SR140 and dialogic brook uh, brook trout TR10. 3-4 series fax board these are the supported one okay for uh, fax transmission and this one true to fax ROHS compliance uh, series fax board right fax connect hybrid uh, hybrid faxing with the with the cloud so these are the four technology that is supported by right fax 20 for fax transmissions and here right fax Embedded SR140 and uh, Dialogic Fax board cannot run on the same open text right fax docs transport server. So we have to, uh, you know, uh, take care of this also because if you are installing embedded uh, SR140 and uh, Dialogic uh, Fax board, 
uh, where you have already installed uh, docs transport server so it will not support that you cannot install so these are the few things we need to take care at the time of installation and configuration also apart from this uh, office microsoft office document conversion so conversion is a big uh, concept in this and it plays a very important role in this right facts configuration and process so guys here if we talk about again right facts 20 no longer required microsoft office for conversion of microsoft office 13 and later format documents so here we do not need uh, ms office 13 okay and however converting legacy office 2010 and earlier formats will require office 2013 32-bit be installed on on the server apart from this terminal services for remote access or terminal services right facts 20.0 support 20 supports the following product server 2019-16 or citrix gen app client for terminal services remote access apart from this guys here right facts database requirement so here microsoft sql server is required you can see here it we can use like 2016 express standard enterprise 2017 express standard enterprise 19 express standard enterprise version of sql server for database in case of right facts 20 next one is sql server hardware to install this sql server we need to take care of hardware also so open text follows the minimum hardware is requirement specified by the microsoft so again we should have some space they will give you documentation for the installation of sql server hardware requirement so you go through that and in the have you can have a server hardware server now client operating system where you can access right facts 21.2 okay client application are supported on the following operating system so windows 10 windows 8.1 windows 8 windows 7 both 32 bit as well as 64 bit operating system client operating system apart from this guys right facts email support for email again we can have microsoft exchange okay so 2010 13 16 and 19 we can use any version of microsoft exchange that is compatible with right facts and right facts 20.2 also support processing a uh, processing of inbound fax calls dedicated and routed from the exchange server 2010 unified messaging server this is also additional feature here with this microsoft exchange web services so what are the web services it supports or it, 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 it uses basically so here you can see like you know exchange online with microsoft office 3, 365 and exchange server 19 exchange server 16 exchange server 13 and exchange server 10 service spec 2 or later for web services and internet browser if we talk about what is required so now it is supported internet explorer 11 or microsoft edge is required for right facts web applications and see the microsoft internet information iis services section below for the more information apart from this guys the right facts web client html based browser client is supported for use with additional web browser including google chrome mozilla firefox apple safari running on microsoft windows or apple os operating systems and microsoft internet information service iis so guys here you can see like you know the following right facts web application support microsoft internet information iis version 10 so that is right facts certified delivery for this operation we need iis right facts web admin uh, open text right facts analytics right facts facts util web right facts sharepoint web service so all these required iis microsoft outlook it uh, if we talk about right facts 2.21.2 it supports outlook 16 outlook 13 outlook 10 
and share point if we talk about share point so 16 13 and 10 apart from this ibm domino right fix 20 point 21.2 supports uh, domino server r8.5 or higher ibm nodes r8.5 or higher and here we need you know communication and load balancer port exclusion and mapping so guys here you know please we need couple of port to be excluded as well as uh, inclusion or we need to allow those ports so there are a couple of ports here uh, like uh, i have not taken those ports but go to you know google and definitely you will find out right fix application firewall exclusion and load balancer ports so that i missed here so you you go to google and you will get list of all the ports number because uh, sometime we need to block certain thing so or some port is blocking we need to enable so that configuration is required as per the requirement or by default it will block or it will enable or it will allow whatever is required at the time of installation and configuration so outlook i already spoke what what outlook it supports and sharepoint also i have already discussed so guys in this video this much information i thought to discuss with you before going further because you know we should have the basic idea then only we can deploy a successful uh, server or you can say configuration in next video we will see about how write facts works okay so again here we will have couple of topics like fax image file fax database sql write facts services fax client programs so this will be covered in two or three videos because everything has lots of content to understand to learn so guys if you subscribe channel definitely you will get notification and for that you have to hit this bell icon on your youtube channel or account and subscribe share like and i will meet you next week till then bye bye